विद्यार्थी मित्र मैत्रिणीनो नमस्कार नाउ वी शैल स्टडी पॉप्युलेशन एंड सैम्पल पार्ट टू इन विच वी शैल डील विथ प्रोबेबिलिटी सैम्पलिंग प्रोबेबिलिटी सैम्पलिंग इज ए प्रोसेस ऑफ सैम्पल सिलेक्शन वेयर सब्जेक्ट्स और एलिमेंट्स आर चोजन बाय चांस इट इज पॉपुलरली नोन एज रैंडम सैम्पलिंग in random sampling every item has an opportunity of being selected it means that the equal chances of being selected are there probability sampling includes simple random sampling with replacement simple random sampling without replacement systematic sampling stratified random sampling and cluster sampling simple random sampling with replacement here what we do that we generally take a bowl in which the number of slips that is the number of slips of the population are placed and then randomly at one time one slip is taken out and in this way the sample is selected for example suppose there are 1000 subjects in population these 1000 subjects are the population out of which we have to select only 100 so we shall prepare 1000 slips and then from them randomly we shall select one slip at a time and in this way 100 subjects will be selected for example suppose the first slip is 38 so it will be written down 38 and again that 38 number will be included in the bowl this type of sampling is called as random simple sampling with replacement well student we have already seen simple random sampling with replacement now we shall go for the random sampling technique without replacement in this the procedure is the same and the arrangement is also the same only in place of replacing the slip the slip is kept outside say for example out of 1000 slips we have selected one that is number 52 so the subject number 52 is selected and then another number is selected suppose this time the number 127 is selected so second subject has been selected but in this type of sampling there is also a difficulty this difficulty is that when we are selecting the first subject the probability is 1 upon 100 and when we are selecting the second subject the probability is 1 upon 99 and this difference in the probability is troublesome hence statisticians have su- su- suggested another type of sampling technique and it is called systematic sampling In fact this is a little refined method of simple random sampling suppose an investigator is interested in selecting 100 subjects from a population of 1000 he has many options in systematic sampling he can select first 25 subjects from first 250 population second 25 subjects from the remaining 250 population and so on following this procedure the systematic sampling could be carried out there is another way also of carrying out systematic sampling the investigator can arrange all the 1000 subjects of population in ascending order and then select 25 subjects from the first quarter of population 
second 25 from second quarter of population and so on. In this type of systematic sampling, we can give representative to all quarters of the population. This is type of sampling is relatively better than the earlier two. The next type of sampling is stratified sampling. This type of sampling is very much useful especially when the population is very large. Say for example, we want to measure the socio-economic status of people living in Nasik city. In Nasik city you will find that there are some areas which are called slum areas where generally poor people they live. There are some areas in which especially business community is living and suppose they are very rich. Third type of areas are such where middle class families are living. Now, if we use simply random sampling then there is every possibility that either the rich or the poor or the middle class they might have their majority. That is why whole Nasik city is divided into different strata. Here stratum is singular and strata is plural. This strata is based on the socio-economic status that is low, medium and high. After dividing the whole Nasik city into three types of strata, then from each stratum approximately 10 percent of the sample could be collected. This type of sampling is very much useful in almost all type of research because in this type of sampling every part or every area or every section of the society has an opportunity to be included in the sample. For large sample or for large population it is said that the stratified random sampling is the best sampling technique. In this type of sampling technique first the whole universe is divided into different stratum and from each stratum the number of subjects are selected by using random number tables. Say for example, once again we are going for the survey of Nasik city. Let us imagine that there are 100 slum areas. There are 60 colonies of middle class people and there are 20 colonies of rich people. So, this is the classification on the basis of their socio-economic status has been done. This is stratification of the universe. Then suppose in one locality of poor people there are 400 subjects out of which 40 will be selected. In another there are suppose 500 subjects from which 50 will be selected and the same procedure will be used for selecting the subjects from the middle class and high class society. Then there is random sampling technique. Many people think that random sampling technique is superior to other types of sampling technique, but the reality is entirely different. In fact, every type of sampling technique is useful and it is effective according to the nature of the subject being studied. In random sampling technique people they generally suggest that well you should use lottery method or other type of method, but the best type of random sampling technique is to use random number tables. If you refer any good book on statistics then you will find that in appendix there are random number tables. These tables were developed by Fisher, Lippitt and many other 
statisticians. Nowadays, computer generated random number tables are easily available. These are generally six digit number tables and these could be used in many ways. For example, the investigator can consider the first two digits or the last two digits or the middle two digits. So, there is every possibility of several possible variations in selecting the random sub in selecting the subjects randomly. Random sampling technique has some advantages. It helps in selecting the representative sample and also sufficiently large number of sample from the population. That is why many people often say that they have used random sampling technique for selecting the subjects. Then there are cluster sampling technique. This cluster sampling technique is just like stratified sampling. In stratified sampling, we have used stratum. Here there is cluster of different groups and from these clusters of different groups, we are selecting the subjects. For example, in this type of sampling, the population is divided into different clusters in such a way that the subjects or the elements within the cluster are heterogeneous. Now, you see why we want heterogeneous sample. If the sample is homogeneous, then we are not giving representative representation to the different types of people. Hence, in the cluster, it is expected that the people incorporated, they are heterogeneous. However, even though that heterogeneity is there, there is homogeneity among the clusters and sample items are selected from these clusters randomly. This type of sampling technique is useful to fulfill the purpose of different types of studies. Above all, there is one sampling technique, it is called as multi-stage sampling technique. In multi-stage sampling technique, first the broad area is covered. For example, suppose there is a district. So, first the district is covered. Means at the first stage, the district is considered as the target population. At second stage, the Hasil place is considered as the target population. At third stage, it is the township that is considered as the target population and at the fourth place, it is the villages that is considered as the target population. So, friends, we have studied about multi-stage sampling also. It is a very effective sampling technique and it is useful for selecting the representative sample. I am very much thankful to you for listening me patiently. If you have any question, you can ask.